Hi Taurus, this is Petra at IndigoTarot.club and I'm going to do a Celtic Cross reading for you today for the month of October 2017. I'm going to pull extra cards from another deck for verification or extra messages. And I'm going to pull an overall advice card for you from the Ascended Masters Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. I've already shuffled and cut your cards, so let's get started. So for you, Taurus, I have the King of Pentacles. Energy crossing you is the Knight of Pentacles. Basis of the situation is the Nine of Pentacles. In the immediate past, I have the Five of Pentacles. Crowning thoughts, I have the Eight of Wands. What's coming in the future, I have the Tower. How you see yourself, I have Justice. Your environment or how someone sees you, I have the Nine of Wands. What you really, really want, I have the Three of Cups. For outcome, I have the Death card. For additional outcome, I have the Nine of Swords. And I have the Wheel of Fortune. So, starting with you, Taurus, I have the King of Pentacles. And the first thing I'm feeling is that in October, you're going to feel like you're sitting pretty because you're at a job that's providing you a good amount of income to keep you and your pets happy or you and your whoever's living with you happy. And it feels very positive. It feels like you're, some of you are like feeling like you're on top of the world right now. Others of you, it feels like you're just satisfied right now. Today is October 8th, by the way. For the energy crossing you, I have the Knight of Pentacles. It feels like some of you are doing side jobs to make extra money to be able to pay your bills. And for those of you that are doing this, it feels like the majority of you are younger, younger males or younger females. It feels more like, oh, younger males. Some of you are sitting pretty right now because you're making enough money, you're satisfied, you're happy with what you have, but the energy crossing you is there's opportunity for more money. You can make more money by tackling something new or taking on some new hobby, and others of you are seeking out extra jobs that you can do, maybe even in your neighborhood, to make extra money. For others of you with the Knight of Pentacles, this is some news coming in to you that has to do with money. For the basis of the situation, I have the Nine of Pentacles, and I'm feeling this energy again of you focusing on money in October and being mostly satisfied. Another way I'm feeling this is that there's a woman in your life, your girlfriend, your spouse, your mom, your aunt, somebody that you're very close to that either gives you advice about money or in the past you've helped this person with money. You've given them money or you've loaned them money. And for some of you, it feels like you've given or loaned money to someone so that they can start a business. For some of those people, this business is a online business instead of a brick and mortar business. In the immediate past, I have the five of pentacles. What it feels like is that some of the money that you've spent or invested some of it you've lost or it wasn't a good deal that you chose to invest it in. And for others of you, I'm feeling like you just moved out of your house because you couldn't afford the rent anymore. And so you're, you're, you just moved into your parents' house or some friend's house temporarily until you can get back on your feet. For your crowning thoughts, I have the Eight of Wands. It feels like some of you are waiting to hear some news on a job. You've applied at one or more jobs and you're waiting to hear some news. And so in your crowning thoughts, you're you're waiting to, to uh, get these messages, to get these to get these requests for interviews and so on and so forth. For others of you, it feels like there's a woman in your life that you like, that you're attracted to. Maybe this is your girlfriend or spouse already, or it's just someone you're attracted to. 
And it feels like you're going to be going on a trip with this person in October. And then for others of you, um, another thing I'm feeling with this card is there's a woman in your life who's giving you some chores in October to do. And it feels like cleaning chores. So I don't know if you're already, if you're a husband and you have a lot of work to do outside for the woman in your life or you're a teenager or a little bit older and your mom is starting to give you more chores, uh, cleaning chores to do in the house. But this is in your crowning thoughts. For what's coming in the immediate future, I have the tower. It feels like some of you are going through, it feels like maybe like a midlife crisis or something. And it's really affecting your energy level. And it's for some of you, it's affecting how you feel about how you look. Maybe you're worried because you have more silver, gray, silver or gray hair showing up. Maybe you're worried because your skin feels like it's sagging a little bit more as you look at it in the mirror in October. And with this tower card here, it feels like you're going to notice these things heavily in October. And it also feels like you're going to take some kind of action to improve your hair or your skin. For how you see yourself, I have the justice card. It feels like some of you in October are going to upset a woman in your life. Again, <laughs> um, some female in your life. You're going to upset her in October. And you know that what you did was wrong. And so whatever punishment she's going to dish out at you, you're going to accept it. For some of you, it has to do with you spending money on something that you're addicted to. And um, for some of you, that's sports, some, something having to do with sports. And then for others of you, it feels like maybe some of you were caught red handed at some place of business, chit chatting with some females and your wife or spouse or partner walked in and quote unquote, caught you flirting. And so it feels like you're going to be doing some apologizing in October because you, you, uh, you know that it's not right for you to do something, but you decided to do it anyway. Um, at that point in time for the environment or how someone sees you, I have the nine of wands for some of you. It feels like the load is going to be lightened for you in October when it comes to either doing things in the house or around the house or at your job. Maybe you're going to have an assistant now who's going to make life easier for you at your job. Maybe you're going to be promoted to a management position. So you're going to be able to oversee some people and make a little bit more money. Um, whatever this, whatever this is, it's not a person, it's an energy and it's an energy of moving up, moving up the ladder or being a little bit happier because of something happening in October, whether it's at home or at work or both for what you really want. I have the three of cups. The first thing I felt when I, <laughs> when I put the card down is for some of you, you're wanting to cut down on the amount of alcohol that you're drinking. For others of you, you want to have more friends. And so you want to start going out more with people and having people over to your house. So for some reason in October, you're feeling this urge to want to socialize more, maybe with people at your job so that you can see them after hours sometimes you look like you're very hopeful about making new friends in October for your outcome card. I have the death card. And when I first put the card down, it felt like it was connected to this tower. So with this death card, it feels like you're going to put an end to something. Maybe you're going to put an end to being a couch potato. 
maybe you're going to start exercising because you're getting flabby and you don't like that. Maybe you're going to start changing your diet. Maybe you're going to start changing how you spend your time after work. It feels like by the end of October, you're going to make a change, a drastic change to something that you are doing, that you're doing now. It's a habit, but you're going to make a big habit change by the end of October. For your surrounding cards, I have the Nine of Swords and I have the Wheel of Fortune. With the Nine of Swords, it feels like some of you are going to have some kind of episode with someone, some kind of argument. And so it's going to be kind of harsh and you're going to be a little heartbroken by the end of October because of this. It feels more like it's a friendship than a romantic relationship. And this friendship could be years old. Uh, so it feels like in October you may have some, some kind of spat or argument with a good friend and no one's going to win and you're going to be feeling miserable about that. With the Wheel of Fortune, this feels very positive. It feels like some good news is coming in your way that has to do with either work or money. So this feels separate from this friendship argument and this decision, this big decision that you're going to make to change something about how you spend your time or something about yourself physically. This Wheel of Fortune feels like some good news coming in that has to do with money, some positive change coming in. So I'm going to pull some extra cards now from my other deck for extra messages for you, Taurus, for October 2017. Okay, I got the Nine of Swords again and the Wheel of Fortune again. Nine of Swords here feels like you're going to have trouble at night. You're going to have trouble sleeping. You're going to have anxiety over something. This feels like anxiety over a romantic relationship. Something's going to happen that's going to cause you to start worrying about your, your romantic partner for some of you. With the Seven of Cups, what I felt was some of you are going to have a lot of options, a lot of dating options, and this feels more like it's for a male who's going to have a lot of female options than for a female. Either way, I feel a lot of dating options with this card. With the devil, it feels like some of you are going to have some very heated, passionate exchanges in October. This could go either way. Okay, this is arguments or amazing sex. Either way, I'm feeling that with both cards. I'm feeling both of those with, with that card right now. And then with the Wheel of Fortune again, something positive is going to come into your life. For some of you, this has to do with a vehicle, some new vehicle. Maybe you're going to purchase one or somebody's going to buy one for you. And for others of you, it feels like you're going to get some work done in October on your car. That's going to make you feel happy. For others of you, the way I'm feeling this is you're going to have some dental work done in October that's going to make you feel happy and more confident about yourself, about how you are seen by others. Okay? All right. Let me pull a card from the Ascended Masters deck for you now. And this is for overall advice for you, Taurus, for October 2017. So the card I have pulled for you is St. Germain work your magic. So let me read this to you. You have the power to resolve the situation you're inquiring about. This card signifies your untapped magical abilities, which you've used successfully in the past. Pull these abilities out of storage and use them to work your magic now. Your clear and focused intentions, positive expectations, prayers, decrees, and action steps all create the healings and manifestations 
you desire. Additional meanings for this card. Decide clearly what you will and won't accept in this situation, as your clarity will bring immediate results. And I'm thinking about that spat with your friend. Hopefully you can prevent that in October. Have steady faith in a positive outcome. Study alchemy and manifestation principles. And so as I read that last sentence, I'm thinking again about the Silva method. And if you don't know what that is, you can find videos on YouTube by typing the Silva, S-I-L-V-A method about visualization and manifestation. Okay, Taurus, I hope this reading helped you. I look forward to seeing you in November. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you very much. If you would like to enter for a chance to win a free full reading with me, all you need to do is go to my website and click on the Enter Here tab. This is Petra at indigotarot.club.